Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I want to review a movie called Ghost Fever. And this was kind of sending me to find my friend Christopher Sposa. And I've known Christopher Sposa for, I don't know how long, two years, two, three years? And he's been really kind uh, to me. And he usually sends me things for some goofy movies or a couple donations on a couple live streams I did. And um, he sent me a thing for Ghost Fever. He asked if I never saw it. And I said, I, I never saw it. And he said it was a good bad. I mean, because I definitely know about the film. Because it was all over the place at the video rental stores when I was in the Army in 87. I can't remember when I first started seeing it. Because I was in basic. It came out in 87. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and I saw it. And I knew I didn't want to rent it because it looked like it really sucked really bad. I think someone rented it. I watched some of it when I was in the Army and, like, it doesn't look too good. Um, and it has, I, you know, I, I didn't know it was on YouTube and he sent me a link. I watched it and it was, he said it was a good, bad movie, but it was still pretty, I, I, I didn't like it. It was like, it dragged on forever and it just wasn't funny. But I mean, it features like Sherman Helmsley from the Jeffersons and also that one guy from, I can't, I, I have trouble pronouncing the name from Electrical Movie with a Mustache. And it revolves around them being two cops. I didn't know they were cops. They were in the sheriff's office, but I, and they said, but I had no idea that they, it didn't seem like they were policemen. Uh, you know, you know, they were in the sheriff's office. And they were sent to uh, serve eviction notices to uh, this one house on this plantation. I think they were going to tear it down and it was going to become a freeway, I think. And then uh, one of the uh, ghosts came back and they were trying to stop them from doing it. And that was it, and it stretched out for an hour third. It was really, it just wasn't funny. And, and it was like a family comedy. Then they started up swinging, and they had like weird tones. And it was a plantation during uh, a long time. And they had, some of it seemed a little racist, too. It was, I, I just didn't like it. It was just, it just stretched out. I mean, I'm a little bit still upset from last night, anyways. But, uh,. I didn't really. I wasn't really a fan of it. I gave it a shot. I think Sherman Helmsley was very good, and then so was the other guy. Like guy, I think that was the best. I think critics, uh, at least, acknowledged that their chemistry was good together. And they were very likable. I like Sherman Helmsley, but I, I only give the movie uh, a two out of ten. I'd rather see Extra Shark again. But I want to thank you, Chris, for for sharing this with me. And some history about the movie was I was checking Cinema Snob about it, and they said it was. IMDb said 86. I know it came out in 87. 80, it came out in 85, and there was numerous reshoots and re-edits. And, oh, and there's horrible special effects in it. But, I mean, I don't mind cheesy special effects, but they were really bad in this one. Not as bad as Puma Man. Puma Man was dreadful. Bad. Um, and, uh, oh, are you welcome, Mar Maria? Oh, now I got lost my train of thought. And, uh, you know, there was a rewrite of stuff that so much the director just gave up and, and put the, took his name off and put the Alan Smithy name on there. That's uh, always a bad sign. And like I said, it was in May 85, released in 87. Uh, it was just dreadful. And the one thing that um, Sherman Helmsley, released by Miramax, Sherman Helmsley actually uh, funded most of the movie. And Chris Spose was saying, he said it nearly bankrupted him. That was a bad thing. And then, on that, he was on the show Amen, which is a successful show. I don't know if that helped him out or not. Well, I give it two out of ten, but I want to thank you, Chris Rosposa, for being so incredibly kind to me. I, you're, you're a good guy, buddy. So I hope you like this video. But until next time, please take care, my legion.